I am Dr. Christine Andrews and I've been in college health for close to 20 years. I've been at Carnegie Mellon for the past four years I'm in full time for the last year. And since I started here, one of my goals is to expand services for our transgender students. And I'm really happy that we are finally at a place where we can offer this that in a way that it's professional, that it's caring and, and comprehensive. Over the last few years, we've really tried to expand services at the Health Center for our trans students. And we are at a point now where we're ready to offer ongoing or initiation of hormone therapy. And we can help with giving injections or if any lab work would be needed, we can take care of all of that at the center. UHS is a great place to receive health care, um, but I'm a bit unsure. Uh, I'm a trans student and I'm not sure that the healthcare providers at the UHS clinic are going to know my pronouns and they might dead name me. So at the health center we have um, an electronic medical record and we encourage everybody to go on to Health Connect and update their alternative name, pronouns, and it's easy to do. And then all of that will be in the medical record before their appointment. And it should show up when they sign in and there shouldn't be any problems with it. I pass really well in daily life. When I go to UHS, will they know that I'm transgender? Yes, the way that the medical record gets updated is that there is a notation by the student's name and that's an indication to us that it's a trans student. Whenever I go to get an exam, for example, I get really nervous because I call my body parts specific things and I think that my healthcare provider might call them something that uh, I would not be comfortable with. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, the providers at the health center are already fairly sensitive to this and we will have a discussion with you at, at your first encounter just to go over what names you use to call your body parts. I'm still really nervous about going to UHS. Can I bring a friend with me? Absolutely. If you're nervous about coming to see us, we encourage you to bring a friend or a family member and they can be present for as much of the encounter as you would like them to be there for. Who has access to my medical records? Will my parents know that I go by a different name at the medical center? Your medical record is confidential at University Health Services and we would never talk about it without your permission. So I think that that's a worry that you don't need to have. So students are really worried about their parents getting any mailings or anything regarding their health care. One of the things they need to do is they need to change their address with the health insurance. That way, if there are any statements that are being mailed, they will go directly to the student and not to the parent's home. Why does my gender even matter when I go see UHS? So it's important to know someone's gender so that taking care of their body and, and uh, knowing what kind of preventive um, services are needed. So in the last few years we have done safe zone training at the health center. Many of our providers have attended different conferences and lectures to improve their knowledge of uh, transgender health care. We've also made improvements in our medical record. It feels to me like we're ready to give comprehensive care to our entire student body at uh, Carnegie Mellon. That's really great. I'm really looking forward to going to UHS now knowing that I can get my health care there. Thank you so much. I hope so. That's great.